Hello everyone, welcome to Kumari's Home Cooking. Today's recipe is going to be wonton noodle. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to make the sauce for the wonton noodle. It's with soya sauce wonton noodle. It's not a soup. I have a, I have two packages of uh, wonton noodle here. You can get it in the Chinese store and I have some dump uh, wonton made with the shrimp and chicken. I bought it from the Chinese store. Okay, for the sauce, I have water here. Water is 100 ml. I have light soya sauce, 2 tablespoon. I have oyster sauce, 2 and a half tablespoon. And I here, I have brown sugar, 2 and a half quarter teaspoon of white pepper, half teaspoon of salt. This is uh, Himalayan uh, salt. And I have garlic oil. There's oil in it. I'm going to use two and a half tablespoon of, sorry, four and uh, four tablespoon of garlic oil. Okay. There is oil in it. And I have sesame oil. Sesame oil is one tablespoon. Okay, I'm going to repeat this again. You, this is for the bigger family. I'm having uh, two packages. One will do for four in a family. This is one ton oyster sauce, brown sugar, salt, white pepper, sesame oil, light soya sauce, garlic oil, and you need thick soya sauce too, eh? And here I have four tablespoon. Okay, let me show you how to make the sauce. Okay, I'm going to add the salt, the pepper, and the brown sugar. And I'm going to add the water, 100 ml. And I'm going to add the sesame oil, one tablespoon. Light soya sauce. Thick soya sauce is about four tablespoon. Okay. And I'm going to use the garlic oil. Okay. You can put the garlic in it or you can do it separately. So I'm going to put the garlic oil first here. So this is about 4 tablespoon. Okay, I'm going to cook this. You keep stirring all the time before because it will get burned. And I'm going to also add the oyster sauce. Okay, now it has come to a boil and I'm going to boil this for another 7 minutes until it comes a little thick. It won't really come very thick but it will be like kind of thick thick. Here I'm going to boil the wonton. Okay, I'm going to boil this for 5 minutes. Okay, the sauce is done for the one pan noodle. Okay, here I have the barbecue chicken. I did this recipe before, you can see in my old video. You have to season with all the sauces like oyster sauce, soya sauce. Mm, thick soya sauce 
pepper, sugar, brown sugar, sesame oil. Okay, it will turn out so good. Barbecue, Chinese char siu, they call it Chinese char siu in Malaysia. Okay, here I'm going to cook this wonton noodle. You have to break them, just separate them, don't break, break. Just, you know, take out from the bundle of thing. And then I'm going to cook this and I'm going to blanch this in the cold water. And then I'm going to repeat in the hot water. Okay, I'm going to put this on just for like a minute will do and then I have the cold water beside me here. I'm going to blanch this in the cold water and then I'm going to take it off and goes back in the hot water just for a few seconds. This is the Malaysian wonton noodle. Okay, now I'm going to put in the sauce before putting in the noodle. I'm going to use 3 to 4 tablespoons of the sauce which I cooked earlier, the garlic and all that stuff. And I'm going to put the noodles in here. There you go. This is the wonton noodle. Okay, guys. And here goes the veggie. This is uh, yu choy. You can use bok choy. And here I'm going to put the wonton. You can try the wonton. Or you can just boil it. And here it goes. And here it goes with the chicken now. This is the barbecue chicken. Chinese usually use their pork and all that. So I don't really use uh, pork for my cooking. Because of some people, they like halal food. I've got some catering and all that. So this is how it looks. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys will try this recipe at home. Okay, take care.